On behalf of everyone at GP Sheets, welcome to our facility. What you're about to witness is the intricate process of how paper is transformed into corrugated board and then shipped to our customers across North America. The beginning of all corrugated packaging is corrugated board. A series of sophisticated machines acting in unison to create the corrugated board is called a corrugator. The raw material of corrugated board are the container board grades of paper. Liner, which becomes the flat facings of the board, is primarily made from the long fibers of softwood trees. Medium, which becomes the fluted middle layer of corrugated board, is made primarily from shorter fibers from hardwood trees. The first step in making corrugated board occurs in a machine called a single facer. A single facer combines a liner and a medium to form a single face web. To do this, the medium passes through a set of corrugating rolls under high heat and pressure to form the flutes that give corrugated board its strength and cushioning capability. Each set of corrugating rolls are made in specific flute profiles to create the performance attributes needed for the finished packaging item. A pressure roll loads the correct pressure and also brings the liner into contact with fluted medium after a cornstarch-based adhesive is applied to the flute tips by the glue roll. The glue roll turns against a metering roll to control the proper amount of adhesive that is delivered to the flute tips. It is critical that the correct pressure is applied to the corrugating rolls and that the adhesive reaches the proper temperature and consistency to form a strong bond between the liner and fluted medium. This combination is called the single face web. The single face web then leaves the single facer and is elevated to a bridge that carries the web to the double glue unit and the double backer. The liner and corrugated medium are fed into the single facer from opposite sides via a pair of roll stands for each. They are connected by a device known as a splicer. The splicer allows for changing from one roll to another without stopping the machine when the roll is consumed or when a change in paper grade or width is required. As roll stock is unwound and heads to the single facer, the paper passes around heated rolls or preheaters that bring the paper to the proper temperature for the corrugating process. Wrap arms control the amount of time that the paper is exposed to the heat, enabling a degree of control in increasing or reducing heat to the paper. The single face web is carried up and away from the single facer by incline belts. The web folds up in festoons for the length of the bridge until it enters the ENL section of the bridge that leads to the triple stack. This allows the single face web to cure with a firm bond so the integrity of the flute structure is not disturbed. If double wall board is being made, both of the corrugator's single facers are running and delivering two single face webs to the bridge to be combined at the double glue unit. The single face web is threaded through heated rolls and into a machine called the double glue unit that applies the cornstarch based adhesive to the flute tips. The liner that will become the outside facing of the corrugated board is threaded through the heated rolls on the bottom of the triple stack. The outside or double faced liner is joined to the single face web as the board is pulled into the double backer. The double backer generally has a top and bottom belt that pulls the board through the machine. The double backer has a series of heated plates that continue to transfer heat into the board to cure the adhesive bond. It is the belts in the double backer that pull the board through the wet end of the corrugator and push it to the dry end where the combined board is scored, slit, and cut to finished specifications. After the board goes through the double backer, it passes through a shear that severs the board to permit order changes and then into a slitter score. The slitter score slits the board into the proper width and, if needed, places the scores into the board to the specific dimensions. 
The state-of-the-art Slitter score, shown here, has two separate Slitter score sections. One section is setting up for the next order, while the other is running. When it is time to change orders, the shear severs the board to create a small gap to allow the Slitter score sections to either drop in or rise from the board path so the board can align between the top and bottom shafts that the scoring and slitting heads are mounted on. This feature allows order changes to occur at line speed. After the board is slit and scored, it continues to the cutoff knife. The cutoff knife cuts to the precise dimensions requested of the finished corrugated sheet. Most corrugators have an upper and lower knife so that two different orders can be combined to run on the same width and grade of paper. There are exit rolls that eject the cut sheets onto belts that shingle the sheets to the stacker bays. The stacker beds of the corrugator accumulate the sheets into stacks, which are then discharged on moving belts for the stacker operators to perform quality checks and prepare for strapping and shipment. At the end of another workday, you can rest easy knowing you have the best supplier in the industry. GP Sheets, our sheets, your business.